out for some reason i think the natural sunlight coming through my window right there is making my face look a little more red but we're keeping it we're keeping it because we gotta do this angle because i thought it'd be funny uh this is a surprise extra vlog that hopefully is going to be short but maybe the weekend reading vlog that i already filmed and edited that comes out tomorrow it's gonna be shorter because that's like kind of seven minutes. It's fine. I thought I had the Rona. I may not have the Rona. Who knows? Um, but uh, I'm here uh, because Stingray's birthday is today that this video goes up. And uh, so they were like, you should let me pick out a book for you to read because I did that last year. And there was a plan originally for one of the vlogs this month to have them do that. But they were like, no, I want 24 hour sprints. Or not sprints, but vlog and then some sprints along with it. So that's what I'm doing instead so uh i was like fine you can pick one book <laughs> for me to read and then i was like hot take what if because a big uh, aspect of our friendship right now is them getting me to finish series so i was like okay how about i let you pick a series for me to finish okay i tried to reposition the camera because i'm noticing the cloudiness down here but i'm just ignoring it now uh it's for the joke okay so i was like you can pick a book for me to get to do a series right i gave them the whole entire list uh for some reason my notion was not letting it share to them very sad because the notion looks much better than the google sheets document but uh they got the google sheets document and they went through asked what a bunch of uh books were or series were there's a whole thing where they decided uh they wanted to pick one where i was on the last book of the series so i gave them basically a rundown of all the books or all the series that have one book left that the last book is already out right uh and so they picked one uh and it was the sequel to dread nation uh i think it's called death was divide i had to look at my whiteboard over there um but yeah uh i'm pretty sure the reasoning they said was because i have just read the first book it's fitting for me to read the second one immediately afterwards uh since the duology and then i can uh actually have the memories and whatnot uh so for those who do not know up above the cards is the weekend reading vlog where i read dread nation i suddenly forgot the name of that book for a hot second uh, i already have both audio and ebook on libby because that's how i read the first one um and that's how i really liked it so yeah that's currently the plan to do that hopefully in like a day or two and then this can go up but yeah but yeah that's what this is um the whole reason why we're filming here at least at this moment it is very sunny outside maybe that's the issue with the fogginess um is because in the chaos of me trying to do the dread nation vlog it was not a lot of me setting up where i normally set up to film it was a lot of me just filming where i was which was usually on my bed here um to update and whatnot so it seemed only fitting to film the intro here since i think i filmed the intro against this wall uh for that vlog so you know makes sense okay ignore the sounds of anyone coming in and out through the house and also my computer that's right there um that's very loud because i'm playing a video game while i listen to this book deathless divide that's what it's called uh yeah i decided to go with another stingray type angle my <laughs> little teddy bear arm is right on the camera um yeah so this is, you know, very reminiscent of when they did their Legend Board vlog. Uh, I thought it'd be funny to do that again. Uh, in other news, um, I believe his name is Jackson, one of the main characters to Love Interest from the first book. Secretly married this whole time. I'm a, I'm a fight bitch. Um, and he doesn't understand why she's angry. Uh, he straight up says, you want to know why i chose her over you while she's thinking about how no one ever chooses her and uh leave her behind which is so great um i like loki get his reasoning like he has a younger sister and he wants children of his own and he needs someone to take care of them not someone who runs off and uh is the type of person to run into danger to help other people uh so like i get it but like also could be nicer about it also why did he kiss her at the end of the last book then because like um anyways in this one i still pov uh it so far switching i think i'm on like the fourth chapter switching back and forth between catherine and the main character yes i s forget her name and yes i've listened to 10 percent of this audiobook like i should remember her name how hard is it for me to remember the name jane 
uh, yeah, um, so there's like a whole bunch of decisions from the survivors from the end of the last book of trying to figure out who is or where they're gonna go, um, and whatnot. Uh, one, they have like literal children, including Jackson's younger sister, uh, and there's certain people that want to get to this one area because it has the survivors from the school and the general area they went to before they got to Summerland, uh, I believe in Massa from Massachusetts, um, which Jackson clearly wants to go to because that's where his wife is, probably. Uh, but Jane's like, no, I got other plans. And that seems kind of dangerous, especially since, like, they kicked her out of that school on purpose, like, very much against them, against her. Uh, also, in the prologue, we learned about how um, one time, wow, I love how it instantly started with the whipping, honestly. Um, being as that was, like, the main thing that impacted me the first book. Uh, but basically, uh, like, the first week at the school, Jane, uh, decided she wanted more cornbread, uh, because there was plenty of cornbread, so she took a second serving, and then, uh, Catherine told on her, and Catherine's like, see, now you know, uh, how this is of your own making, and, uh, blah, 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 it, a bunch of bullshit about how, uh, Jane should feel bad because it's her own fault for being whipped despite the fact that Catherine was the one to turn her in, and Jane was like, there was plenty of cornbread, we could have all had extra, they just decided not to feed us right and so uh, eventually she just slapped Catherine uh which is like you know valid um and then uh used her words against her I think it was something like uh now do you understand how I feel I think Catherine said I understand how you feel and she's like bitch there's no way you've ever been through this and so slapped her <laughs> and was like now do you understand how I feel um and so, you know, good times, uh, which I get the point of it because I can see how some people could have complained. I didn't look into it, but there's a possibility some people complained about the first one, how um, Catherine and Jane were very antagonistic in like the first half until they got to Summerland. And then they like, because circumstances had to work together and even like a little bit before that, but like Jane was never a fan of Catherine. So like having a reason why uh, they are very antagonistic towards each other, despite the fact that they're kind of like the closest things to friends the other one has in this book. Um, yeah, also the benefit of having Catherine POV is we actually know some stuff about her history and her past, uh, which is fun. Um, and yeah, uh, that's it. That's my thoughts. It's only, I'm only 10% in. <laughs> it's fine. Um, I'll probably update you when I'm like halfway through. Okay, it's hot outside or, well, also in here and he went and I want to turn my fans back on, so we're doing this update fast, but I did get to 49%, which is kind of where I said I was gonna update you, but also I'm ending for the day. Uh, it also happens to be the end of part one, fitting, um, and yeah, it's a good time. Uh, literally right after I updated you with my thoughts on Jackson, uh, he died. <laughs> literally right afterwards. Uh, and so now she's seeing hallucinations of his ghost maybe it may be actually it's close because like there's some i mean there's zombies so there's some weird stuff happening already kind of supernatural stuff but like there's other supernatural stuff happening and then her other love interest gideon i like him even less than i like jackson uh so there's one girl from school who she's friends with uh that they've run into and is with Catherine right now because they've been separated now which now makes sense of why it's dual POV um and I it was like straight up mentioned out like very briefly in the first one about how Jane is into both men and women and so you know that's the romance I'm hoping for um is there anything else uh she's about to get her arm cut off so that's fun <laughs> Uh, um, yeah, no, uh, I was worried some stuff was happening with her, um, and that's why they got separated, and I was like, wait a second, are they actually gonna kill off the main character, because they did make it dual POV, so, like, kill off the main character, and then that be end of part one, but, uh, they didn't kill her off, but she does have to have her arm cut off. So that's fun, um, and that's where I left off. <laughs> the end. Um. I think I think that's everything I have to update you with. I'm st I mean I'm liking it about the same amount that I'm liking the first one. So yeah, and with that I want to turn my face back on. Okay, it's the next day, 
and it's really hot. Like, thanks to Kalisa, that's why I'm gonna do this fast because I want to turn my fans back on. Um, but I finished Deathless Divine. Yes, I got it right. Hell yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I finished it. Uh, it's good. Uh, in between parts one and two, there's like a year and a half ish, almost. It's like a year and five months. Time jump. Uh, which was very exciting. And so it's like a good. I think they're separated up until around 69%. Uh, and it's around 49% that they get separated. So there's like 20% where Catherine and Jane aren't together. Uh, and then it's them refinding each other and like uh, rebuilding their friendship that they had due to um, mostly Jane doing stuff. Uh, Catherine feeling bad about leaving Jane behind, feel like she should have done more to save Cat uh, Jane and whatnot. Um, Gideon sucks. Did I already bring that up? Probably. Uh, there was one character that I barely remembered from the first book that is still iffy in this one, but they, like, are off with him at that point. Um, is there anything else to say? I don't think so. Uh, I was intrigued by the ghost step. There is a- so Jackson, I brought up the fact that Jackson's like haunting her but it's like hinted that Jackson is also haunting his sister because like a few people are like hey she kind of seems haunted um and whatnot and so yeah um there's like a hint of that uh and whatnot so I was intrigued by that especially since like for most of the time that she was seeing ghosts as far as I can tell Jane didn't have her lucky penny that also like has the magical abilities and whatnot that like warned her when she's in danger all this stuff and so like it wasn't on her when that was happening and then she puts it back on at the end of the book and she feels this feeling like she's being haunted but she can't see anything uh and she's like good because I don't have a need for any more ghosts so like maybe that has to do with that um i don't know uh the ending was good it was all around a good book uh it was just different enough from the first one to be like something new uh and whatnot but uh say similar enough where like they're the same characters like i'm always low-key worried that uh characters are gonna be slightly different in the sequel i blamed hamlin <laughs> and sarah J. Mass. um in the sequels so like they're just similar enough where like you can recognize those same characters but they're also different enough where they're like um excuse me what happened to you also resand and of course over flames <sighs> it's fine i just blame it on sarah jane mass um so like yeah like i understand because like most of the differences happened after like the end of part one with the time jump with the characters which makes sense because it's been a year and a half like and like jane has been out here just killing people and torturing people like she's gonna be changed a little bit and catherine's been like trying to survive and also help other people survive uh that she's kind of in charge of because uh there's more of her trying to be passing and help out people with that so like they're different enough because of being separated for a year and a half and going through experiences on their own and then come together and try to continue their friendship as a group and whatnot um also jane is confirmed gay in this one she has a girlfriend for the first for a little bit um so that's uh that's fun i don't think i have anything else to say Except it was 4.25 stars. Did I already say that? I don't know. It was really good. Um, I recommend the series. The duology. I mean, it's a duology. So, you, like, you can read it fast. Yeah, the second one's audiobook may have been four and a half hours. But, like, that's fine. That's almost five hours at three times speed. It's fine. Um, and, yeah. I think that's all I've got to say. So, I'm going to go. Uh, I should mention... In case you got this far, uh, about an hour after this goes up is when I'm going to be doing Last Friends tomorrow for Stingray's birthday. So that's the thing. Um, the thumbnail, th th sorry, I can't say words. Thumbnail for that is hilarious and I love it. Silver Bobs is the thumbnail for this one. I did put birthday hats on people on this one. <laughs> we, don't, we don't need to talk.
talk about it. I went a little crazy. I I was having a good time, okay? Um. Also, I love how this is the shirt I'm going to be wearing on the thumbnail when it's Stingray's favorite, one of her favorite, or one of their favorite that I own. Um. But yeah, I think that's everything. Everyone's linked below and by everyone. I mean me and Stingray. Up above in the cards is the vlog where I read the first one. Because you want to watch that. Um, and I think that's it. So until the next video, which is technically in like two days. <laughs>